Welcome back, folks. The Departed, this music scene supergroup, has put together an awesome second album, and this time it's all original music. We sat down with the band to get the complete inside story behind Adventus. Coming off Indian Land, instead of putting a record out immediately and it being rushed, it's through Indian Land, a new band, a new act for all of us, and it was that vibe. Move on to the next project, two years of writing. So now, this vibe, it was going into a studio to prove what we are, what we have become. It was real euphoric for all of us to, to bounce ideas off each other and then feel what the band has actually turned into. And it's exactly what we thought was gonna happen, you know, was sharing leads and sharing vocals. And it was really stepping up and trying to prove what we are. This new record is what we're really all about. The new writing of the songs has just been the experiences of us being on the road, a new band, putting this thing together. shows the true meaning of this band. There's no doubt about it. It shows everybody's individual talents and strengths. We've spent hours outside of the studio just rehearsing these songs, just making the general directions of where we were going to go whenever it came to the recording process. And it, it, I've loved every minute of it. I knew even from the second that Cody called me that that's what we, we were going to be, a rock and roll band and play rock and roll music, because that's what we all want to do, just as like guys, and this is that perfect opportunity for that. And the songs were the most important thing, I think, to all of us, but uh, for me it was, you know, write something different and interesting and honest as far as all of our influences and the way we all, all the stuff we, you know, listen to and like. I think it's, I think it's all in there. I think we got it all inside there. Plato has the same thing, you know, he has, you can tell he's playing bass on this record, um, mainly just because he wrote the songs, you know, and was involved in it, and you can just really hear his influence, and he, we're all being ourselves. Worth the fight, I just kind of walk, walked in on Seth, just kind of tooling around with it in the back of the bus. I'm not very good at this whole songwriting thing, but I, I try to contribute whenever I can. And it was just the right time, I guess, and uh, it happened. And then we all came together and made it really meaty and really in your face rock and roll, you know? And it's like a sucker punch to the face about eight times. People ask now, you know, how I got here and why I'm here. The short version is, well, I wasn't here when the band started, but I got here as quick as I could, like the bumper stickers that talk about Texas. Seth said, Chris Deggy was, he said he is the only drummer I didn't fire. So we knew he was good, you know. And we were looking for that, that I always said to Phil Rudd, keep it in the pocket like a Charlie Watts thing and, and play here, like stir the pot, you know, and do this every now and then, but just don't start off like this. And Chris is that Phil Rudd. Keeping it jamming, keeping it driving, keeping it moving. Most of the songs on the record have that energy that a lot of the old ragweed fans were missing. I'm real happy to be part of that high energy music that built up the fan base that they had. 
and uh, give them the energy they were missing. Won't you listen to the sound? I think harmonies are very important. I don't know how to do them. That's why Jeremy's the master at it. But the call and response thing to me is, it's not a duet, it's, uh, it's talking about something and it's, and it's almost the inner thoughts at the same time. Like Burden's line is, why do I go through the trouble? Why do I even try? And why do I even try is some, another voice. Cody was picking up certain lines, you know, just kind of, by accident while we were kind of rehearsing it or writing it. And that's really kind of how the demo went down and we just kind of fell in love with it that way. Cody's always wanted to do that kind of call and response thing. And uh, we just really kind of did it on accident. And almost everything that happens in this band is an accident. proud of what we've done. I think we've put out a fine recording and all the styles from rock to maybe maybe something country. It's all kind of a collaboration of the time that we've been spending and I think we've got it documented on tape.